Well, believe it or not, state climatologists wouldn't consider this week an extreme heat wave. They say our last extreme heat wave was in 2019, but there is a trend that they're noticing when those heat waves do pop up. Our Aaron Hassanza explains the subtle change that will have you sweating. It's the type of Minnesota weather most of us could live without. You know, when you walk outside and you feel the water on your skin already and you don't do anything. The weather equivalent to the worst flavor of jelly beans at the bottom of the bag. You're sitting here just dripping sweat. You know, you haven't even moved. Sticky, yeah. <laughs> it's the humidity. I'd prefer less humid days. Wouldn't we all? And we're sure you've heard this one before. You know, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. But senior DNR climatologist Kenny Blumenfeld says we'll have to live with it. As his recent research for Hennepin County revealed, our heat waves are trending more humid. We're just seeing this gradual uptick in the number of times where you have a hot day coinciding with a day with unbearable dew point temperatures or unbearable humidity. And because of that, that is one of the sensors we can connect to here on my phone. Hennepin County Emergency Management is keeping a closer eye on how humidity makes certain days dangerous. It can have a ton of impacts on uh, people who are active outdoors, uh, little kids playing sports, construction workers, as well as your law enforcement. They wear a lot of gear. The real question is what's happening with heat waves. That's kind of I think everyone wants to know, even though our summers haven't necessarily gotten hotter yet, um, those really dangerous heat waves that are extremely humid are, of course, a concern to people, and we have seen a bit of an uptick in those. A subtle but uncomfortable change that stresses our bodies and air conditioners. Oh, yeah, they're getting a workout. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO4 News.